What's going on everyone? Dave here from SignalBorn.com. So there are changes being made to VisualStudio.com. It will eventually change names to Azure DevOps if it hasn't already by the time you um, watch this video. So as a result, the process of um, getting your repo access configured with Visual Studio Code has changed slightly. Actually, they've made it easier. So a couple things you'll need to get this working. Obviously, you're going to need Visual Studio Code. I'm using 1.28.1. You'll also need to install Git locally on your machine. I'm using 2.19.1. And you'll need your visualstudiocode.com username password. So I've already logged in. This is probably what you're used to seeing. Uh, let's look at what it's going to look like in the future here. You can preview the features. And turn on the new navigation gets you most of it, but I just turn all these on. Okay, so there is what this will look like whenever this is rolled out to everybody. So Azure DevOps will be the new name. Now, at this point, I don't have this repo synchronized or cloned down to this local machine. So in order to do that, click on my repo, or on my project, I'm sorry, repos. I want to hit the little clone button. And you can do it the way you did it in the previous video that I made manually by copying this link into uh, the git command window and doing it that way. Or you can just hit clone to Visual Studio Code. Open into Visual Studio Code. Okay, now it's going to ask me where I want to put this locally. I want to put it in Google Drive just so it's backed up an additional layer. So now it's asking me to authenticate. Username, password, would I like to open the repository so authentication was good. And now you can see I'm all connected. So if I make a change here, save it, there's a commit waiting. That's it. Much easier than it used to be. So the extension is actually baked into Visual Studio Code now. And there you can see that's my repo that came down when I synchronized it all. So extensions that you're going to need really just Azure repos and PowerShell to make this work for PowerShell. All right, nice short video on the new process to synchronize Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Team Services or Azure repos as they're going to be called soon. If you like what I'm doing here, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and thanks again.